Hi, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a VLC media player control into your WPF application. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new project and we'll just name it VLC test and it has to be a WPF application. Go OK and close out of these two windows because we're not going to be working with them for a while. Um, in your solution explorer right click on your project then go add new item and select user control and we'll name this VLC Let's go add um, open up your toolbox then right click anywhere on the toolbox then click on choose items and then click on the COM components tab and we'll sort that by name then look for VideoLAN VLC ActiveX plugin version 1 just go OK and once you've done that you should see VideoLAN VLC ActiveX plugin version 1 in your toolbox just double click on it to add it to the control then close out of your toolbox. Um, with the plugin selected, search for the dock property, then change it to fill, then just save it and click on build, build solution, I'll just press F6 and then close out of that. Um, once you've done that, you should see these two things AXAX VLC and AX VLC added to your references. Okay, um, we need to add one more thing to our references, so just right click on references, then go add reference. Then click on the .NET tab, then look for a component called called Windows Forms Integration. Should be down the bottom somewhere. There it is. Then press OK. Okay, now open up the window or application where you want to add the VLC control. Then open up your toolbox. Um, and then look for a control called Windows Forms Host. Drag that in there. And just resize it to fit. And we will also add a button to the window. Change the content of the button to open and play. Okay, now we're going to work at the code of this window. So right click on the window, anywhere on the window, then click on view code. We're going to add the control we just made to this window. We have to add a reference to it. So on on the top, next to all the usings, add, add using AXAXVLC. And then declare a global object of the AXVLC plugin version 1. Oh. No version. Right. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay, that's right. And we'll just name this VLC. And in the window constructor under initialize component, we're gonna um, finish declaring our VLC plugin. So go VLC equals to new. AXVLC plugin parentheses semicolon, and then we're gonna add the plugin to as the child of the Windows Forms host. So Windows Forms host one dot child equals to VLC. Okay. Now go back to your design view and double click on the button to add a click event handler to it. 
and when the user presses this button, we want the user to we want the program to allow the user to select a file to open. So we do this by a open file dialog. So you can tap an open dialog OFD. We're going to get an error at this point because open file dialog is not something that WPF uses normally. So we're going to right click on it, go to resolve, then click the third option. Well, that's the option I use, but you can use the other ones as well. And just copy this. Then after OFD, go equals new, paste it, then parentheses, semicolon. And then we're going to ask the open file dialog to show. So OFD dot show dialog. That. Now we're going to add a checking thing here to make sure the user, like, user actually selected the file. To do that, we check, we do this this way. So if OFD dot file name is not equal to nothing. Just say that you can't use the word null here. So what this is going to do is if the user selects a file and the, or the file name is not nothing, then it's going to do something. But the, if the user presses, presses cancel or doesn't select a file, it's going to do, it's just not going to do what's in the if statement. So in here we're gonna ask we're gonna add the file to the VLC playlist as it's called. So we're gonna go VLC dot add target. The first input is the file name, so it will be OFT dot file name. I'm not exactly sure what this second input is, but I just put in null. The third input is going to be AX VLC playlist mode. So, as you can see there, oops, AX VLC dot VLC playlist mode dot. I'll just use the, use the last option, which is playlist, which is, which is replace and go. And for the position, I just put in zero. There we go. And now we're going to ask the VLC. To play the file, so VLC dot play, and now this should work. Let's try it out. Click on the start debugging button. I'll just press F5. Then when you press this button, this should pop up, and just select a video. And there it is. Um, this will just open the file and play it, but I can't really control the video. To learn how to do that, you have to go to this page. It shows you all the methods and all the properties of the VLC control. Um, I'll put a link of it in the, in the description, so you can play around with it. Alright, thanks for watching.